What up guys, Tyler here, and I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of the items that I will be using at Ragnar this year. For those of you who don't know, Ragnar is a 200 mile relay using 12 people and two vans. So long story short, you need to have some safety equipment, which we have here. We have a light vest, which technically all you need is just a vest, but I also have some lights in here too just for added protection. You also need a headlamp, which we have here, and a light to go on your back, which we have here. And I always like to bring an extra headlamp, just because some doofus usually forgets theirs. We also have extra batteries for the lamps, a multi-tool, which always comes in handy, and then a uh, charging cable for my iPhone. And of course, a lot of my Garmin data, so I need all my Garmin charging stuff, my heart rate monitor, and if you notice on my shoes over there, I also have the foot pod sensor. Now you need plenty of medical stuff as well. So we have Triglide, Vaseline, painkillers, and KT tape. I don't think I'll need the KT tape, but you know, someone else in my van might. So, you know, if someone needs it, I'll have it. Over here, I have blister packs. So if anyone gets a blister, or if and when someone gets a blister, um, you can use that. Also, a medical kit. Always a good thing to have, especially when you're doing a long race like this, something can happen. It's always better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Also over here, I usually like running in these things. These things are called buffs. It's just more or less like a scarf that you can also use as a headband. Well, I just wear it around my neck. If it gets too warm, I just soak it with water. And it makes me feel nice and cool. Now, if you have a longer leg, one of my legs I believe is around 12.8 miles. I like to carry this guy with me. Just a little simple handheld water bottle. The van doesn't always have access to you. And if you would really like a drink of water and the van doesn't have access, that guy's definitely something you want. Also, I have a miniature version of what people would know as the stick. Uh, the stick is used for self mitofascial release, and this guy is really goddamn portable. It's awesome. So, I highly suggest you guys get one of these. Not only that, race belt. Hold up the number. You need that. Coming back a little bit further, we also have some nutrition as well. I have fuel for fire and a few other things like some stinger gels. Also, you need shoes. Enough said. And I also like to wear a pair of sandals when I'm not running. Easy on, easy off, nice and good. Have some sunglasses and a funky hat that I like to run in. Have a little bit of fun. Over here, we also have some spare changes of clothes. And then over here, clothes to wear when I'm not running and just riding in the van. And it's always good to bring a towel as well. Towels will definitely help you clean off some of the mud and dirt that you might get. Also, imperative, water bottle. We usually get jugs of water that we take with us, but you know, it's always nice to have an extra bottle of water. And then over here, I have a little Bluetooth speaker. So there are certain quiet times that you have to be quiet, um, especially during a, going through a residential neighborhood at night. But you know, every now and then, uh, when we're not in quiet time, a Bluetooth speaker to play some jams is always nice. And we also sleep at night when we're not running. So over here, I have this really cool thing that I like to run with. This is a sleeping bag, but this little blue guy is actually a portable hammock. So I can tie that up between two posts, get in my sleeping bag, and not be crunched up inside of a, a van. And one of the things I think most people forget, bring a little car inverter and an electrical cord. That way you can share the electricity, everyone can charge their stuff, and in the case of our van, we really like to put some lights and really decorate the thing. And this just helps us go the extra mile so we can have Christmas lights inside our van. And to pack it, I have one of these all uh, Under Armour bags here. And this guy's pretty awesome. You can use them as a duffel bag or a backpack. So all this gear here, all this gear, plus my camera equipment actually fits inside this guy. So I only need to worry about one bag. You'll see people coming with five bags sometimes. I remember last year, one person on our team had three. If you can fit everything that you need in one bag, that's so much better. But remember, try and think of everything that you might need and then don't pack the things that you don't. That's always the hardest part, easier said than done. But you know, you really gotta sit down and think about what you need. If you're a first timer at Ragnar, I would always say, bring it, you know, of course, in case scenario, you never use it. But if you've done several Ragnars like me, you kind of know what you need and what you know what you don't need because those vans can get a little cramped. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow. See you around.